You know, it's not too bad. Actually, some of our northern locations are in the low 70s, so nice. I think it's pretty comfortable outside. <laughs> it's not as humid, but we still have some humidity yeah. as well. Yes. Uh, just really, though, a nice start to our day and a dry start. And I feel like that's what really all we want, especially since we've had such a soggy September. Here's a look outside right now in New Smyrna Beach. Good morning, Volusia County. Just a few clouds, and that moon is shining very bright. Not a full moon yet but we're almost there. First warning radar, not a thing to track inland, but we are tracking a couple of showers right off the coast. We'll watch for some fog this morning as you get the kids ready for school. I'm not too concerned about that fog though developing, but again, we'll watch it right now. Visibility is not too bad. And then when you pick the kids up from school, scattered rain, and scattered thunderstorms are in the forecast. Today's coverage is just a tick higher than what we had yesterday. Starting around lunchtime, one or two showers developing along the I-95 corridor and then increasing to 40% for the late afternoon and early evening. So this morning, it's mostly clear, a really lovely start to our Tuesday. By 12 o'clock, a few pop-up showers along I-4, but we'll have more rainfall developing along the I-95 corridor and then quickly developing scattered rain and scattered thunderstorms around 2 three and four o'clock from Orlando and on east, especially that thunderstorm activity. Our two sea breezes will slowly work towards each other and collide around five, six and seven o'clock tonight, leading to more thunderstorms in between I-75 and I-95. A couple of isolated showers around 9, 30, 10 o'clock and everything is dry and clear by the overnight hours. Temperatures this afternoon, though, going to be warm. Inland spots, upper 80s and low 90s. Coastal locations in the middle 80s. And then tomorrow afternoon, upper 80s and low 90s yet again with another round of showers and thunderstorms, but the rain chances will be lower for tomorrow afternoon. Then on Thursday, we have this very weak front that slides through. This will allow us to see our temperatures drop into the upper 80s starting Saturday and on Sunday. But for now, we're mostly in the low 90s for Tuesday through Friday. Notice the Wednesday and Thursday rain chances are down to 30%, bumping back up to 40% by Friday. That will last through Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week.